and we've got the Dolphins, creative quarterback. He's a top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Dolphins and the Rams coming up next. Well, much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff. No such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, their long winning streak finally came to an end last week. A disappointing game for them, but still a heck of a run. Indeed it was. What a great job by them putting together a streak. Now let's see how they rebound after a defeat. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. Oh, right, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Now Wilson. And a Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. That's taken on the 20. Now a hit and a loose football. And it looks like the defense has got it. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. You talk about this Rams defense. Against the pass, they've had some issues, ranked number 23 in the NFL right now. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is a number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around, and we know they'll be here before you know it. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. A great effort there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. Record-breaking. He now has the new NFL standard for the most receiving touchdowns in a single season. Congratulations. Elliot Good with a PAT. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. 
costly mistake there in the return game, and that is not how you want to answer an opening touchdown. Yeah, and your defense is asking you a lot of questions right now because you're already down seven to nothing. You turn the ball over, they've got to go right. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. Now second and nine. Off the play fake. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. First quarter lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise. It only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggle. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He's second in the to allow this offense to get on track in this one. On fourth down, the punt team is on it. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Here's Thomas on the return. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48-yard punt, but 10 on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You talk about this Miami defense. They were terrific last week against Buffalo in that victory. And the big thing for them was the interceptions. And you hear teams all the time talk about establishing themselves against the pass. You know, no fly zones and things of that nature. <laughs> This group had a bunch of them in last week's game. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Now a third and six. Wilson. And this one is incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because... This group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. 
And we'll see what he can do on the return. 13 yards the tally on the return there. And that will come the offense as they take over. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's played well all year long as he enters the home stretch of the season as the NFL leader in touchdown passes. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second and seven. On play action, they'll throw. He's got his man in the crossing round. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 29-yard line. Now back to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Rams are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched the playoff spot, but they know. Looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. After the interception, here's Wilson. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter, as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Throwing is Wilson. And Thomas has it. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Wilson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of momentum from the offense coming off that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Now Wilson. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. Ethan Evans on now to punt. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Taking it about the 36. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of 8. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he's been incredible all year long. The NFL's leader in passing yards as he just recently eclipsed the 4,000-yard mark on the season. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. They'll set up a throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. They'll look to throw again. And he's got his man in stride complete. Touchdown! A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Dolphins have moved out in front by three touchdowns. And this is turning out to be something to monitor as this game goes along. That's now three touchdown catches for him here in this first half alone. Elliott on for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. A drive there of just four plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. He gets it to Thomas. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He's got Thomas yet again, complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Here's Wilson. And that'll be caught by Tony. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Wilson will throw again. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Second and nine. Here's Wilson. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now it's Wilson. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. 
No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The oh, offensive nightmare there. You go for it on fourth, and the play doesn't even really get to develop a sack. And it's so unfortunate, too, because you think you've got something good called, but if your offensive line can't hold up, that's often the result. They find a way back to the quarterback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and 13. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. They'll look to throw. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. So what a play there in the final minute of this first half. They get the interception. More importantly, their first points of the ball game. Yeah, and that one play certainly changes the outlook, doesn't it? I mean, they're looking at going into the locker room. No points on the board, not playing well defensively, deflated, and now things may have changed for them. A try here for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to seven. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. to throw now on first down. Looking left side and it's complete. They're all the way in for the Miami touchdown. A big play there as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins would extend their lead here just before halftime. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. We'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. More from you and Charles in a bit. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here in the late window. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Nick Boyle, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, let's get over to the Rockies to check out the Broncos at home in Denver. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting New Orleans Saints. Brian Robinson, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And things didn't work out so well as they fall to the visiting New England Patriots. Javon Baker, a touchdown catch in the victory. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Oh, a good look in return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Here's second and seven. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Out of the gun now on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 34-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best players yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They'll look to throw here. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. A good position to be in here, second and inches. And the tight end goes in motion left. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. They'll drop to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Touchdown, Dolphins! A great play there. 
his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Well, they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throw left side, complete to Tony. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. From the 46, here's second and three. Now Wilson. Now he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Closed quickly. And he'll force the incompletion. Again, Wilson. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that foot Ball. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Back to throw here. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. They're going to look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Returnable for Thomas. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Williams loses the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right in the yard. Now back to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Back to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed watching their execution throughout this contest. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. As the Rams offense comes back out, here is the NFC playoff picture coming into the weekend. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Throwing is Wilson. Pass complete there to Nakua. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. There's Wilson to throw. Over the middle, it's Thomas. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. It's a gain of six. First down. To throw is Wilson. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and four. From the shotgun, Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 35. 12 yards there as they move the chains. 
To throw again is Wilson. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. You can almost see inside his face mask there. The look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone cared about the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Second and short now following the fumble. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. That'll be caught. It's Cup. Touchdown, Rams. Cooper Cup, his first touchdown on the year. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And that touchdown there, it's not going to get him a win. It makes things a little more respectable. Yeah, a little more palatable going out in this ball game. A little something to build on going into the next game, but it won't alter the final score. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, we've reached... Well, we've reached the stage where it's a, it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is, do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I'm being selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. 11 more on that one and another first down. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Dolphins, they continue to make their case as a Super Bowl favorite as they move to 13-1. And, and they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Chicago Bears next week.
Meanwhile, for L.A., the season is really nosediving now as they fall to 2-12. And, and they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time.